guys, welcome back to Killer Spin Skill Academy. I'm Danieli Rios and I'm here with Felipe Morida. We're both pros from Killer Spin and today we're going to teach you how to do multiple for forehand loop. Thank you, Danielle. If you have a partner that doesn't know how to do multiple using the pedal, doing the multiple using the hand can be very beneficial for you. And today we're going to do that doing one of the most important fundamentals in table tennis, the forehand loop. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, this exercise is very beneficial for beginners. Notice that I position myself on one side of the table and I have a lot of balls with me. That's very important for any multiple exercise. I grab one ball each time and then I throw to Daniele. Notice that the ball doesn't have that much of pace, so sometimes she has to use her whole body to execute the shot. Daniele prepares for the shot and then she moves forward to execute the forehand loop. Yes, I think it's really important what you said about how the ball is coming to me. So as you can see, it's really funky and it's uncomfortable for me. So I need to be all the time active with my feet. And also I need to add power since the ball don't have any power. Correct. And then uh, during the game, these kind of balls happen very often, especially in the beginner to intermediate level. Like sometimes you serve and the opponent return the ball and the ball is a little bit strange. Then you have to adjust to execute your forehand or your forehand loop. Yes. Now we're going to show you some examples of how you can implement this exercise in a real match. Danielle is going to serve. And then I'm going to return the ball with not much of a pace, kind of a dead ball. And then she's going to execute the forehand counter or the forehand loop, whatever she decides to do. This ball is typically with players, for example, that they're not good receiving long service or maybe they have a different rubber. So this is a good exercise for players who play with that style. Another thing that Daniele and I would like to talk about it is the benefits of doing multiple. Fitting by hand is very important at the beginning because then you can get a very good coordination on where to place the ball for your opponent. Plus, multiple exercise is very good for your cardio, for your footwork, for your brain itself because you're going to be exercising all parts of your body. Yes, something that I love about multiple is that I can also practice my cardio and then I can practice my concentration and my reflexes. Also, table tennis, um, you can learn a lot of different skills that you can implement in other sports. So let's say that you are playing badminton or tennis, table tennis is really gonna, gonna be really beneficial for these kind of sports. And then when Daniele said like cardio is very important in multiball because you don't stop, right? You keep feeding balls, you keep throwing balls. So you can, you have to keep like moving and at the same time keep the concentration because the balls are coming fast to you. So you have to really keep your endurance, your cardio and your concentration. So it's very good for any other type of sports. Thank you guys for joining us and we hope this video helped you to improve your forehand loop. Yes, and if you want more information about the Killer Spin Skill Academy, go to killerspin.com and you can find all the info there. See you guys next time. See you.